Have you guys? How Y'all are we remember feeling? this asshole? Feeling good. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling all right today. Okay. Hmm. I can't wait to get into this one. Girl, she over it already. I'm already excited. She is over it already. <laughs> so we had you guys on episode 18. Mm -hmm. Wow. Episode 18 of Pop the Balloon or Find Love, where you guys ended up matching. Is it going to be a yes for you for What's her? Paleo? Paleo? What's that? Um, yes, she's okay. beautiful. Okay. It is it a yes for you for him? It is a yes. We got a man! <laughs> he was the dude that was being an asshole to all the women, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take this. He was the one who was telling pale, pale EO. Okay. Mike, and you guys can go on off. Yeah, what's All that? Right now. <laughs> Comments to say about this episode. So let's jump right in. Please like this. Like, <laughs> I, mean, you, I guess Weaves is one of your deal breakers absolutely okay yeah. so what about some of the other comments you said like what what was going through your mind during those pro moments i think it was just uh people not used to the men um having preferences mm -hmm. and i think that that's an issue okay um i have a preference i didn't say anything bad about any woman i just stated my preference okay what i like um, women say that what they like all the time mm -hmm. and that's fine but when <laughs> a guy says it it's 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 all bad okay i think that's horrible well Mm -hmm. So what about the whole like Kenya scammer thing? What, what was that about? <laughs> <laughs> you don't get scam calls. I mean, I wouldn't. I would have put it on Kenya though. Uh, I don't know who it's coming from. The whole continent. Man. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> no, that was just fun. That was just some fun and games. Okay. Okay. Uh, it was really the first young lady who um, talked about my vans. So after she talked about my vans, even though I got them on the last second, uh -huh. when she talked about my vans, in my mind. I said, oh, oh, everybody else is getting it. Um, I'm from East Cleveland, Ohio. Uh -huh. We joke, and I know how to take jokes, too. Okay. But I do know how to turn it on when it needs to be turned on. Okay, so okay. hold on, Braylon. So you said you got a Jeep, all the doors, roof, all that's off. Yeah. And does it rain often in Cleveland? Uh, I mean, it's Cleveland. It's, it it's literally just... rained every day. That weather is so sporadic, it's not even funny. Oh, so no. she definitely went to see him. We, see we got all the doors and everything <laughs> off. What we went with the Piata? Weird, well, that was wow. so really nice and mm. impressive. We did like a whole oh. <laughs> like, like three days. <laughs> um, after the show, um, we went actually straight back to Ohio. Mm. I like changed my flight from going home to going to Ohio to Cleveland. Okay, because you're from yeah. where? I'm from Massachusetts. So oh, Boston. and he's in Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. you were I'm meant to go same home. Time zone. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. So. We just took a six-hour flight back that way. Okay. So went to Cleveland. That was a good time. Um, How long were you there? Like, like three two, days? Yeah. Two, two like, three days? Okay. And yeah, we, was, like, got back on Sunday. I, like, left on, like, Tuesday or something. Wednesday, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got I there mean, that we, night. We, we liked a, yeah, we had a good cooked time. dinner. He, like, took me to the gym the next day because, you know, I love the gym. Shout yes. out Extreme okay. Compound. <laughs> Him and his there. Extreme Compound. I know. Okay, I know. Well, <laughs> Phil, what up? As much as I'm at my gym, we ain't shouting out LA Fitness over here, but. <laughs> you don't have to. Well, that's a chain. We don't need nobody shout out, okay? Okay. But anyways, yeah. So we went to the gym. That was, like, really nice and mm. impressive. We did, like, a whole um, step class. That was intense. It was wow. so much fun. Extreme compound, um, man. It, I was very impressed. Was I was like, this man said he works out, but does he work out? Mm. Every man on the show said they worked out. Right, Exactly. But he does. He but works he does. out. He proved it. He does. He proved it. Okay. I was impressed. I was impressed. It was a fun time. Uh -huh. We, like, got food at... What's that place? We went we, we, to Piata? Yeah. I think we went to... Yeah, we went... But before that, you got to tell him about the ride home. Uh-oh. Oh, so what's the ride happened at the ride home? I mean, you tell it since it seems like you're ready. Oh, you don't remember the Wrangler? What happened in the Wrangler? What happened in... Tell us. Tell us. First of all, he has a Jeep. Start. Secondly, that does not go with my hair. Okay? I don't know why he picked a natural no. hair girl, but the Jeep <laughs> and the curls... I couldn't have seen nothing. We got all the doors and everything <laughs> off. So it started raining. Oh, no. And we had a time there. It was like an experience, really. Was you it know? an experience? I was definitely traumatized. I said, I don't really know <laughs> if this is going to work out. He was running lights. I said, sir, I don't. Oh, this is <laughs> I don't think this is. Okay. It was but. an experience. 
It was an experience. I didn't say if it was good or bad. And this, and I said this it was is an the experience. interpretation. So hold on, Braylon. So you said you got a Jeep, all the doors, roof, all that's off. Yeah. And does it rain often in Cleveland? Uh, I mean, it's Cleveland. It's, it it's literally just... rained every day. That weather is so sporadic. It's not even funny. Oh, no. So you were, you drive like. <laughs> he did make it seem like he was beating them cheeks in a Wrangler, girl. He was driving. <clears throat> like that often. Rain just pouring all over you and in your car. No, no, no. Okay. No, 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 no. When it rains, I'm usually in the house. Okay. <laughs> but you know, she ain't want to get on the bike, so we just got on in the Jeep and we and we bounced out and okay. it started raining. I didn't think it was gonna rain. But we had a good time. We laughed, we kicked it, and I thought that that was great. Okay. All right. So what happened after that? Any other fun dates? We basically chilled, we hung out. I cooked um dinner one night. It was good. It was a nice little vibe. Uh huh. He liked the food, I think. Ooh. Mm. It's giving. It's giving crickets. Uh, no, it was, no. Hold on. No, the food was, yeah, the food was good. Mm. I appreciate when a woman cooks for me. Okay. Uh, especially, it felt like she cooked, she cooked it with Definitely love. Definitely was supposed to check the forecast. Okay. And I, I wholeheartedly appreciated that. All right, Anytime. Good. Oh, it looked like they was nice and cozy to me. Hey. I'm a meal. <clears throat> Anytime, one, two o'clock in the morning, getting up, and she did that for me, made me something to eat when I was hungry and everything like that. I appreciate that so much. Okay. I really do. All right, so after this trip to Ohio, that trip was good. Uh -huh. And then, probably like a week later, um, he like booked a flight and planned to come see me in Massachusetts. Okay. Um, and yeah, so I had, ideally, we wanted to do the weekend. But I had a few events, like I'm an AKA, so it was like Pinkwell time. And um, in Massachusetts, we are on the water. So we have okay. like um, certain islands, like we have she like, didn't make Cape, time like Martha's Vineyard. So Martha's Vineyard's like our island. It's like a plot it's twist. She didn't give like them that. plot twist. She didn't want them to show up because she was busy. A president, like, just, you know, just random big people okay. vacation there. So usually, once a year, like there's always like AKA events or there's like a beach day for the AKAs. And I was like, I have an event, like I'm going to Martha's Vineyard on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I was like, so do you want to like come with? Cause like I already have that day off, you might as well just come. Right. And it's just like a good time. Like we're gonna take the ferry over and we like took the ferry, so nice. Um, well, nice little suns. Never mind. That it was a cute time. Mm -hmm. Oh, he came. Okay. Ice cream, it was so good. We had an interesting debacle while we were there. Um, uh -oh. they he had got some into work it. stuff that was going on. And so he wasn't really like, I mean, he was present, but not present. I mean, like, I didn't know if he had a good time or if I had a good time. I didn't really know if he was having a good time, but he said he'd had a good time afterwards. I just don't know. Okay, let's hear it from him. How was your time? That's crazy work, what you just. What's crazy? What you... So we did go to Martha's Vineyard. Okay. And Martha's Vineyard was cool. Yes, I did have some work stuff going on, but she was stepping the whole time. Okay, and strolling. It's called strolling. Strolling, Please. stepping, yeah. jogging. This is, this this listen, part. she was doing that, and she was taking a lot of pictures, and I was cool. Okay. I wasn't tripping. A lot of people was coming up to me, asking me different questions and everything like that. Like, I let... You shine because that was your platform. And I let you shine. And I stood off to the side with no issue. So don't say that I wasn't present when I was there. Okay. I'm not saying you weren't present. I'm just saying it was just like... You wanted him you more engaged? Occupied? You want me to stroll with you? You know? Obviously not. <clears throat> it's just not appropriate, obviously. Okay. Because you were just not a part. But it's okay. It's okay. So... There was a bit of a, a little back and forth after the event, or it was at the event, or? It was just a long day. <laughs> okay. The, the event went fine. We had a little tizzy coming home, but it was fine. Mm -hmm. A tizzy? What's that? What's a tizzy? No need to get into it. Arla, we got can you home. ask her what a tizzy is? I'm guessing a little, oh. a little disagreement, right? No, we didn't have a disagreement. It looked like y'all get into like, it all the, the time. The ferry got messed me. up. It took a long time for us to get home. Like, it was just like the night and it just a little not how it should have. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The next day he had to like go get my car from like an hour away in New Bedford. It was just like a lot. I went and got your car, correct? That's what she yes. just said. Oh, okay. 
Just wanted to make sure, you know. Did she say you didn't well, get I it before? Go to work. Work. Why did you say it like that? Sure. No, I just wanted to let everybody know. You know, I'm present. I was there. I was helpful. Okay. Oh, now he's offended about what she said. I, I didn't mean anything that. by that, okay? We to can the take the tizzy. Back. Bring your shots back. Come on. Right. Please. Please. <laughs> so now Don't what? do me. This isn't the whole white vans situation. Uh oh. Okay? okay, I'll just bring it in. So okay. now after it, this trip or whatever this was, <laughs> did you guys communicate afterwards or how did it end? Did it end good? Like, it was just from... a day trip. So we came back to my place. Uh-huh. So when I went to Ohio, I stayed at his place. When yeah. I came to Massachusetts, he stayed at my place. Got it. Um, which is fine. I like had work the next day because we planned oh, God. on going to Florida the next week. So I was like, oh, I really can't take days off this week because the next week we're going to take off. So I had to go to work. Mm-hmm. And I, um, I'm a physical therapist, like an inpatient physical therapist. So I work in the hospital. Yeah. So I have to physically go into work every day, mm. which he works from home, which is great, which yeah. means you can take your work anywhere you go. But for me, that's not how that works. And I work long days. And I said this before mm-hmm. that, like, oh. I also have my own fitness business. Okay. Confidence fitness. Okay. Um, <clears throat> just, just, just keep on going. Just yeah. keep on going. Okay. <laughs> yep. So I literally do my nine to five and I work like a good 10 hour day, either like seven to five or I'll do like nine to seven. And Mm -hmm. then I'll go straight to the gym after doing like an 8 p.m. session, be there to like 1030. Mm -hmm. So she gone from like what, six in the morning to like 10 at night. I'm gone like all day. And I mentioned this. I said this. You You told him that before he went out there. I told him this. Okay. He don't understand. He wants a woman available. She isn't available. But men want women to make their own money. But then want to put on put rules on how she can make her own money. They so stupid. I want to cook meal, man. I want her to take care of the kids. I want her to, you know, take care of the house. But I also need her to bring in 50% of the uh, you know what I'm saying, the money in the house. Oh, but I don't want her gone from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. What are we doing? What do you want? Because <laughs> he goes to bed at like 9 o'clock, and we were chatting on the phone before for that week that I, like, you know, came back from Ohio. There was a week, and then he came that next week afterwards. Uh-huh. So we're chatting. You know what time I'm out till every single night. <sighs> I, I just do. think when he got there, the reality just, like, set in. And I just, like, I feel like maybe if I took some more days off, it was a little more present and we had more time together, maybe it would have been a little bit better. A little better. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, Braylon. My brother just, just, you know, wish I could have had more time. Mm-hmm. Um, I like time. I like affection. Okay. You know, I want to be loved on. Oh, we're I'm just a big gonna teddy get, bear. We're just gonna get right to that part. So now, no, I was just, I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, yes. So did you feel like that trip when you were out there, you didn't get no time, you didn't get any affection? Uh, it wasn't to to my my standard or my liking. In okay. A sense. I wish it could have been more. Right. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Okay. So now, like she said, she told you beforehand about her schedule. Mm -hmm. You didn't think it was going to be that way when you got there or? Um, I mean, to be honest with you, it's like women (laughs) say things, but usually when it come to me, I mean, things kind of change. And huh? she she stood on business with with her time frame. That's the fuck okay. she's supposed to. And it was shocking a little bit, but you know, I I understand though. You know, she grinds. She, right. you know what I mean. She S T N was seeing that. He likes to really <laughs> play games, and that's another. No, she's thing a doctor. She's a, she's a DPT, doctor. He be doing too much. She's yes, a, she's a doctor, and she also has her fitness business. And I went to the gym with her mm-hmm. as well. At her gym. Yes, at her gym, at okay. LA, at, yeah, I went to her Why gym. Why he don't want to shout out LA Fitness? Right. He's right. so stuck right. on his own little gym. Shame, no. <laughs> no, but yeah, I went to I went to the gym with her a okay. few days, like two or three days and mm-hmm. stuff. And um, yeah, she long days. She is not jiving with that. Wow. So you know, yeah, that's. So man. she said you guys planned Florida. Did Florida happen? We. Hmm. <laughs> Let me let me hear from Braylon. No, no, no. Don't turn it to her. I want to hear from you first. Ladies, ladies first. And then he we'll might, go to he her. Might get a little, mm. Yeah, let's go. Go ahead. La- ladies first. No, it's all right. Go ahead, Braylon. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I spent like a band on a trip, and um, it, she, she got sick. Oh. So, you know, sleeping under that fan, directly under that fan, she got sick. Okay. 
So it didn't uh, happen. Yeah, so she didn't come to Florida. Okay. And I um I went back. He shouldn't have never planned a trip if he knew she was a busy woman in the first. And to be honest, she should have. I ain't going to say she should have still went. You know what I'm saying? You, ain't nobody trying to go all the way to Florida if you're sick. But <clears throat> yeah, he wasted money. I'd be mad, too. Back home because I had an emergency. And mm. then I shot Friend. to Florida. Sorry, I'm sick in Florida. I'm sick in Florida, baby. Um, <laughs> thank you for my mimosa. <laughs> oh, thanks. This tequila should help me. Oh, <clears throat> This hottie toddy is going to be a party, okay? You can get this ass, but I ain't going to give you no kisses. Cool. All right. Mm, 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 mm. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> baby. <laughs> oh, we would have worked that thing right on out. We would have. However, on the man side of things. I just, I wouldn't have booked it um, because she already wasn't giving him what he wanted in the first place. So y'all heard me. Mm, mm, mm. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. So good. Mm, mm, mm. You know what I'm saying? Don't kiss me though. That's it. That's it. Okay. Um, I wasn't going to go at first because I didn't want to go without her, but then I was like, man, I didn't want all that money to go to waste. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I, I had a great time. <laughs> Oh my God! So I was kind of upset that she didn't come. Yeah, and I was in my kind feelings. Of upset? I was. I he was literally ghosting me for thirty six hours. Please, <gasps> kind of upset. Oh, you think you didn't deserve to be ghosted? Girl, I would have been in somebody else's cheeks in Florida. Mm hmm. Yep. Girl, we ain't got nothing to talk about. All oh, the whole time I'm there. Whole time I'm there. We have nothing to talk. I would have got back. Then called after I got them got home. I'm talking fresh in the house. Mm, mm, mm. Shh. Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> what's up? What's up? Down, whatever you, what? Bitch. What you want? <laughs> that I was literally sick and in the hospital. I literally got admitted to the hospital. And I told him that. And I was like, I've already been out of work, like, literally Monday to Tuesday. Uh -huh. It's Wednesday. We were supposed to leave on Thursday for the rest of the weekend. I said, that's an unplanned whole entire week off of work. We didn't plan that. I worked 10-hour days. So, like, mm -hmm. I was going to just, you know, first three days, just do my 30 hours. And I could just, you know, take the rest of the week off. That obviously was not in the plans. I mm -hmm. couldn't have, you know, predicted I was going to get sick. Yeah. She's being inconsiderate of his money, and she's being inconsiderate of his time. And you see this little face right here? This, this little cute face he's making right here. He's upset because he knows that she's being inconsiderate of his money and his time. She is feeling like, nigga, I just got a little sick. Damn. It ain't nothing but a band. You know what I'm saying? And then she, it, she basically canceled the trip because she wasn't able to work the, be, the beginning of the week. So... Instead of sacrificing time and a little and a couple of dollars, he took her ass to work instead of going to Florida with him. Yeah, we wouldn't have had nothing else to talk about, baby. Nope. Nope. We ain't got nothing else to talk about. And then for you to just ghost me, I was livid. You deserve Absolutely to be ghosted after that. Hundred percent. So he it. ghosted you when you like you called him or you texted him saying you're sick and you're not gonna make the trip. Like how did that conversation go? It basically went like, Hey, I don't think I'm gonna go to Florida. It just is not feasible. Look it at the whole space. Make, logically, it does not matter. Go to Florida. She knew. Like, girl, he spent money. I don't give a damn if he spent $110, lady. He spent his hard-earned money. Okay? 
to take your boy head ass to Florida. All right. You done hit him with the I'm sick and I can't come. However, you was working on the weekend. That's the, that's what a problem really lies. You was working on that weekend, but you during the week you was sick. And maybe on the weekend you was sick still, but you still decided to take your ass to work. You see what I'm saying? But that's a problem when a woman got to work too. They going to choose the bag first because they got to make sure that they keep their bills paid, y'all. That's why men got to be bosses. What he should have did was pay for her days of work. You see, y'all don't get what I'm talking about. Y'all don't get what I'm talking about. Because you got to fuck with real niggas to know that. All right, you were sick at the beginning of the week. How much you normally make a week? Most of the time, a woman would be like, four fifty five hundred, <clears throat> And if not, and she making way more money than that, I definitely would at least gave a half or the amount for her to come. So I get why he upset. It just is so upset too. not feasible. It just doesn't make logically it does not make sense right now. OK, and he was upset. He took it pretty well on the phone or this was on the phone. Uh huh. And that's probably like the last conversation on the phone. But um, mm. yeah, so he took it pretty well. Uh huh. Kind of. He like hung up and was like, I'm gonna call you back. And I said, what? Oh, no. I said, okay. He was so trying not to be upset. rude. Okay. Yeah. But then he called back and he's like, I understand. Like, you know what? It's not your fault that you got, you know, sick. And I was like, okay. Like, I'm sorry. I understand both positions. Both of them. Like, what? As a boss, though. As a boss. Because I'm a boss. I would have paid for her week. <laughs> Baby. If I want to see you and I want you in Florida with me. Hello. I know I spent the band on that trip. How much you normally make a week? Well, honey, here go 15. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I need you to come. Or you done already made, <clears throat> you, you done already missed them a few days. Let me at least give you the remainder of the rest. You get what I'm saying? Um, but that real, that's a boss thing to do. What, what else Maybe can I say? he just didn't feel as though that was worth it. Like I'm just, I just feel bad. Or mm -hmm. those mouths don't get fed. But I, as in a woman's position, I wouldn't be like, "Can you pay for half of my week of work?" I wouldn't have done that either. So it's just something that he had to want to do, and just maybe he wasn't interested in doing it. And then we hashed that out. That was fine. I thought everything was fine. Next thing you know, the next day, no call, no response. I called three times, no call back. You know, I said, oh, not me. Not me getting ghosted. ghosted. What is this? Highly upset. <laughs> then the next day, uh -huh. still didn't, still didn't text me, still didn't text me back, still didn't call me back, then sends a text mid-afternoon just with a hey. <laughs> he sends you a message saying hey. Yeah, just hey. Okay. Not a return that call piss me off. to my three missed calls. Okay. At that point, I'm just like, you know what, I'm done. Mm. Because what are we doing here? Okay. Braylon, what happened during the 36 hours? <laughs> <laughs> what, what happened during what the happened? 36 hours? I really want to know. Well, you know, uh, one thing that I've, um, as I've gotten older, okay. I realized that, you know, sometimes that you, you do have to apologize when you're wrong. Mm -hmm. And um, I was wrong for ghosting you for 36 hours. Um, my apologies, sincerely. Um, I was in my feelings. I was upset. Okay. And sometimes I need to break away from life when I'm upset because I don't want to come at you in a disrespectful manner. That's respectful. Again, I, I apologize. <laughs> um, I was upset. Some people might say that it was wrong, but... Um, he had the right to be upset. I'm sorry. I would have liked that. I'm sorry about a week and a half ago, but you know, you know, here we are. <laughs> we got it though. We got we, the we apology. Is here. It's, uh, yeah. I'm not, I'm, 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 I, you know, I'm, nobody's perfect. Uh uh. No, 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 no. No. Y'all don't see anything wrong here, ladies? What? Tell me what y'all see wrong right now.
gaslighting the hell out that man. Because first of all, why you ain't apologize back? He what? First of all, he was not wrong. <laughs> no, 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 no. He know that he could have handled it better. He apologized for himself. Let's make that very clear. However, she should have rebutted with an apology for being ungrateful and, and basically not showing any type of nothing for what he just spent. I mean, come on. At, uh, girl, I see why he had to take his hat off. See, what he wanted to do just now was come as a grown man and, you know, recognize his faults. He on TV, YouTube TV, and they going to talk about how basically he was a bitch for not um, answering her. Like, I feel like that's what a man would say to him. But ultimately, he had every right to be upset. And do I feel as though he should have ghosted her for 36 hours? No. But do I feel like he should have answered her and said, listen, this ain't the time. I'm upset. But most men don't know how to be like, hey, I'm upset. I'm in my feelings. He's saying it now because today it's not going to come out aggressive. But two weeks ago, it would have came out aggressive. But I would have told her, I would have told her she need to apologize because at that point I would have realized she ain't one of them to apologize. But she should have apologized to him as well. Like, damn, bitch, he spent money on you, girl. He didn't have to. You don't know what his pocket's looking like. That could have been his last right quick. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it was, but I'm just saying. That's a, a today spending $1,000 on a trip. You've already taken multiple trips. Girl, that wasn't a couple dollars. Okay? So I feel like she should have considered him more in, in, in that. You know? That got me a little upset. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nobody's perfect. But you, you know when, uh, can you give you me a little grace, please? hundred percent. You know, we're, we're in a forgiving <laughs> type of era right now, you know? Okay. All right. So yeah. now, what's going on now? So after you message her, hey, how, how are we doing today? We talked here and there okay. and things like that. Did we talked here and there. Mm -hmm. Did we? You're doing too much right Ooh. now. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying my best. <laughs> it's just inconsistent. I just want to know. I'm just confused. Well, I... What's your definition of talking? Because I'm pretty sure I consistently kept calling you and you were not my, answering. My definition. But you sent text every day. My definition of talking is what you're doing a lot of right now. Oh. All right. Really? There's a lot we... of kiki and going on. <laughs> How you doing? How was your day at work? On repeat. So it was just a lot of text messaging, just, but you wanted more conversation over the phone. Oh, he absolutely knows I wanted more conversation. How do we talk I for do. two weeks straight and you I call me it. every single day, all the time, and all of a sudden... That would have been fixed with an apology, y'all. The shit would have been fixed with some acknowledgement of the fact that he just spent his damn money. Beautiful woman, but I don't like her. Okay, like, why isn't she considerate to the fact that this man did what it is that he did? You know what I'm saying? Not only that, he's apologizing, and I, at that point, I would have been apologetic. Like, I think women be thinking, like, somebody want them to kiss their ass. No, you're not being considerate. You're not being accountable. Um... You want the situation to get better because you want him to control it, but not even realizing you the one with the steering wheel right now, child. You and she the one driving and shit. How you doing today? How was work today? He wanted some fucking appreciation. They gonna chew her ass up in these comments. Ah. I'm not gonna lie. I thought he was gonna be the problem. And I still feel like, well, he has a way of controlling clearly his emotions without speaking to you. He got a he got a ghost right quick. But <clears throat> I think a, a lot of men should do that. I think a lot of men should do that. They gotta not maybe not ghost, but gotta go in the corner for a second. Gotta go in the corner for a second. I think that would stop a lot of abuse um, that they put onto women. <clears throat> and I think if women understood 
where they are accountable at in that moment, men won't get so emotional and, and you know, lose their shit and put their hands on women, you know? I just feel like it's such a simple fix with a lot of the shit that goes on today. <clears throat> and it just got dry. I was sorry, and I told you. He just told you. I, and I told you. Uh, <laughs> he still is saying I was in my feelings. Keep pushing this button okay. on this um, camera. Okay. Uh oh. So y'all, what's, what's going on? So where are we today? How are you guys? Are we still? Are we great? Talking? Are you we guys? <laughs> you know, let me ask Kiana. Yeah, I know. Okay. Where are you guys today? It's if the someone, bold face just okay. If someone were to ask you, who is this man to you? What would you say? Before today, I would have said, mm, a thing of the past. Mm -hmm. Um, it was a good experience, you know, you live and you learn. I just feel like now that I've had some reflection, because last week I definitely was cussing him out, but <laughs> now that we had some reflection, I just think that we just are not compatible in that type of way. Okay. Like the things he needs and things I need. Like what I was giving was great, but what he needed was not what I was giving. You know okay. I mean? can you can you ask her what I needed? Oh. <laughs> Does she know what you needed? Not too. Go ahead, sure. ask her. We about to find out. Braylon, because she has a question she, for you. Because she like she talking a lot right now. Oh, um, okay. All right. So for you, you guys weren't compatible. Yeah, I would say so. What is okay. it that he needed? He would just like a little more affection than I am trying to give. Mm. Mm. And like we said before, I like to stand on business. Yeah. Okay. And it's just. Just, it's not compatible. Okay, okay. And somebody will be out there that wants to do all that for you. It's just not you. <laughs> just not me. It's not even that me. It's just like not this early, not this. Like, that's just not the way I roll. It's not how I go. And that's okay if that's what you need. But that's not what I'm here to give. Okay. What you here to and give? And I told him that from the beginning. But, you know, they just, until you live it and experience it, I feel like there's just, we don't, we don't actually get what you know the other one actually means until mm -hmm. you actually get put in that situation well then any final words on your end um no she she pretty much hit it on the head man i'm a very affectionate person okay um i love for i i, I love to be hugged okay. um i didn't grow up with a lot of hugs and stuff like that so that oh he's projecting He want a mama. No, 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 no. Shit. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I understand where she... <clears throat> I still feel as though she should have been accountable for wasting that man's money. But outside of that, no. No, 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 no. She can't do that. That means a lot to me. You know, when... Um, She's simply trying to say, nigga, I got shit to do. I got bills to pay. We just started. 
Um, I ain't got time for hugging and laying around all day. So. More than what was given. You didn't get any hugs? Excuse me, please. Please continue. I, I said I wanted more. <laughs> more? You got like massages every night? I'm confused. I just, what, what? Okay. Just asking for more. You're right. You're she's right. still not accountable for shit. But however, I also feel like she's not interested. It, it, she, she's, she's not interested. He, he sounds like to me he want to be inside of her skin. Mm. Your man affectionate and you hate it? Don't get me wrong. I get on Honey Saw's nerves. Okay? I do. Because I be wanting more too. However, um, everybody is just not, you know, the biggest effect. Appreciate the sub, friend. No resub, bro. Really That's crazy that y'all y'all don't like affectionate men. What's the problem? If y'all don't like affectionate men, then what the fuck y'all want? Ouch! What y'all want? Yeah, my boo who was not affectionate enough for me in the beginning, but we communicate on that end, and I love Big Spoon and him now. <laughs> I do. I love it. I do. Okay. It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> to be left the fuck alone. Okay. Let me ask you a question, friend. Why do you want to be left alone so bad? Okay, I understand the ones. I shouldn't have asked that question like that. So the ones that do like it, I understand, right? To the women that don't, why? Just don't be in my face too much. What's, what's too much? Because I'm always needed by everybody. Mm. You have a lot of kids? Or is it just everybody in your life just be asking for too damn much? I do, but you can't be in my skin. Sensory issues. So what does that mean? The kids, the house, the dog, work, then him. Oh, and you work. Mm. Does he work, friend? My man got to be. I can't stay. Uh, I guess I can't stand a man that's not affectionate. Sometimes I'm overstimulated. Okay. Because clearly you working, got kids, a dog. Because I get uh, overstimulated. Yeah, but not enough. Mm. Got it. You want him to get the hell out your face. I understand you. He remind you of the children. You see? Yes. <laughs> that was going on right there, Tasha. Okay, I got your drift, baby. <laughs> I got your drift. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, overstimulated. Y'all got too much going on. That's what happens with honey sauce. She get overstimulated because I'm up here. So, I don't know what she's doing down there. She done done 117 things and then here I come. Wanting to be all over her. And it's like, girl, <laughs> baby, I love you, but please. I just cleaned up this whole house. Girl, I don't want to be bothered. I just want to smoke a blunt right quick. Um, let my body cool off. I'll be like, I don't give a damn what, what you want to do. I want to touch on your body. Sweaty and all. I don't care. Give it to me. Okay. I'm happy. I was happy when he went back to trucking because move. <laughs> Oh my God, y'all are hilarious. Yeah, I'm the in your skin type, unzip and let me in, okay? And you know what though? I'm the same way when it comes to like being overstimulated. Mango overstimulates me, okay? He overstimulates the fuck out of me actually. And I have to get me some, uh, uh, get the hell away from me, mango time. Okay. And dogs are, they like to be in your skin, literally. In your skin, in your plate, in your, in your drawers, in your bras. Okay. And, and mango is a, I need to smell it. I need to touch you. I need everything. Okay. Mango, you got to move. You got to move, y'all. Sometimes I can't do it. I can't do it. Okay. 
So now when I see that she like, girl, I, I, I get the hell out the way. <laughs> I get out the way now. <laughs> For the most part, I try to. I try to. Um, I like a little, but not too much because I love my space. I don't like women that want to be with me all the time. What's your sign, uh, Kia? Um, I love it. Be leave me that hell alone when I'm asleep. Uh huh. Leave Mango alone. He's just a baby. <laughs> I do leave him alone. Tell Mango to leave me alone. That's what you, that's what you gotta understand. Okay, I leave him alone. I let him mind his business. Do your thing. Walk around here. Get your four wheels. I mean, your four paws going on. Do your thing. But get the hell away from me. My dog, a husky, when I tell you he's like another adult human, my God. I believe it, and he big. Mango is 45 pounds, and he's a midget, okay? But he's a strong 45. This nigga jumped so high the other day, I'm looking at him in his eyes as he jumping up at me. <laughs> Mango, <laughs> move, nigga. Why, why, must, why must I see you up here? You know what I'm saying? You supposed to be down there. Why do I see you not at my knees? Okay? <laughs> Girl, he stresses me out. I think it also depends on your profession. If you're around people all day, the last thing you want is more or of that when you get home. I guess, y'all, my thing is if you want something or you, uh, let me ask you this. Let me ask y'all this. If a fine ass man came to you, I, I'm gonna say you at work. Clearly, he ain't your man, and he want to be up under your skin at that moment. And say, for instance, y'all got a work bail. You know, you don't have to confirm or deny anything. But say, for instance, you do. Do you like that attention? Do y'all like that all over me attention? Or no, it's it's whoever. Oh, congratulations on the baby, friend. Nah, get get the fuck away from me. I want my man. Tasha, you crazy as hell. Just You just can't be pleased. Absolutely not. No, sir, back up. If you're not my man, get the, get the fuck off me. Y'all are so crazy. Did y'all hear everything you just said? So you don't want him on you. You damn sure don't want another man on you, so you want your man back. Now, if he leave y'all because you, you don't want him to be up in your skin, that's your fault. If that man get to asking you for some more attention, you need to give it to him, ladies. God. Uh-uh. I don't want no other man on me. But you don't want your man on you either, friend. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> y'all are so crazy. I want all the affection. I don't care who it is. Love me. Okay? That's how I am. Like, honey, so I don't want these hoes, girl. I need you in my life, in my skin, in my everything. Touch me. Touch me. Okay? Don't want none of these bald-headed ass hoes. <clears throat> I don't even hug family member. I just started. I hug Honey Sauce family member. I hug my mom and my daddy too. Touch me, girl. I need to be touched. Period. I ain't got to be touched all day. Oh, but you gonna touch me today? To be honest, ain't shit out here. I don't blame you, need y'all. When I tell, I just told Honey Sauce this morning, girl, we are gonna have to deal with each other. This woman just paid a man. I don't know who the man was, but she just paid a man to kill her grandparents. For an inherited house. Now, Honey Sauce may not like to be affectionate all the time, but baby, she's loyal. You understand what I'm saying? She's loyal. I don't feel like she want to kill me. I don't feel like she going to set me up. She don't steal from me. A pussy. Jesus Christ. Okay. It's good. Okay. They all love my pussy. 
And Jesus, the she's a head hunter. Okay, head honcho. You know, you know what I'm saying? Lord have mercy. So, mm, I can, mm, 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 mm. I'll be cheating on my next girlfriend with her because I need her head again. I ain't gonna talk, I ain't gonna lie to you. A shawty will get cheated on, okay? Because I need y'all friend to suck me up. I'm just, I'm just trying to be honest with y'all, okay? Just keeping it completely honest. So we just gonna have to deal with each other and whatever we come with. Yep. Mm -hmm. I just have to leave vodka alone. That's number one. I drank it one time. Jesus Christ. Vodka is not for me. If y'all drink alcohol and it don't help y'all situation, slow down on the liquor. Okay. And I'm talking about when you're having a conversation. You ain't got to slow down on the liquor just because when you're having a conversation, don't have a conversation on alcohol. Uh, uh vodka, girl, what? Yeah. <sighs> mm -mm. Yeah, but we're gonna have, we're gonna have to go ahead and stay together. Yeah, this conversation that got a little long. My fault. No, I forgot what we was doing. Yeah, tequila only for me now. I mean, even brown. First of all, acid reflux wise, I don't need to drink tequila anyway. And um, yeah, I get too goddamn. Mm -mm. That's it. That's all. I just wanted more. Okay. You know, I like that. I, I like that stuff. You know, and it's impossible for you to do it often when you gone for 18 hours a day. And I understand you got to go get the chicken. I can dig it. These you gotta big girl fitness. bills, okay? Yes. I'm, I'm, I've seen the spot. Massachusetts is a lot more expensive than Ohio. Now you now you down in me now. I'm not down. I'm just telling the Damn. Damn. You're, you're over here like, but you had to go to work. Absolutely. Who's paying these bills besides me? I feel it. I feel it. I stopped drinking around after my cousin tried to throw a bottle throw a table at me and her mom. I said, hell no, I don't even want this no more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but just, you know what I mean? Just because I shouldn't be faulted for that though. Nobody's faulting you. I'm just saying that I need more. So if we flip the, if we flip the script. Brown, I get offended. White, I get offended, be ready to fight. So. Mm. And the woman is asking for more time from a man. And he's saying that, hey, I got to go out here and work all day. It's like, oh, I want affection. I want love. I want more. And it's like, oh, no. But then when I'm saying the same thing, you carrying on like it's an issue. I'm not saying that it's an issue. It could be something that an adjustment that somebody has to make. I'm just saying in that small period of time, mm -hmm. sweetheart. Now I'm the sweetheart. <laughs> in that small period of time, I just want more. I want it more. <clears throat> and you know that. So for you to stand on this platform and get going like you're going. What do you mean get going? Going. You wanted more. Okay. okay. Yeah. So we're going we're gonna to go ahead and wrap this up. <laughs> so clearly we see there's no compatibility here based off of I'm, you just want a lot more. She What's know up? that we rock. We rock. So you, when I'm so putting in the environment, then we're good. Like I said, I have to work at all in Ohio. We were fine. Having a good time, I was cooking food, no problem. We were just chilling, doing whatever. She got up at like Please one in the morning. Take over the bills, and then we can have some fun. Hello. That's chilling, doing whatever. She got up at like Please one in the morning. Take over the bills, and then we can have some fun. That's how that works. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Did Say that one more time. No. What did she say? Nothing. She said, go ahead and take over those bills and she'll be fine. <laughs> that, I mean, you give me... <laughs> <laughs> you got a speechless? You give me That's what the first I... time you've been speechless hey, this whole time. <laughs> hey, look, you give me what I want. The bills ain't got no problem. Mm. You know what I want. I don't think that was confident enough. Nah. Consistently. <laughs> All right, y'all. Understood. Well, let me go ahead and wrap this up. So... I know both of you probably got a lot going on. Any, like, projects we should be on the lookout from either one? You can start it off, Kiana. Um, yes, definitely. Um, you know, I have my confidence fitness business. Mm -hmm. Hey, it confidence a, fitness. I can't wear him. It's a group fitness business. Okay. Um, basically, it's all about just promoting activity because I am a physical therapist, so physical activity is the most important thing right. no matter what you do in the world. So. Mm -hmm. My um, company is based off of like dance, it's based <laughs> off of step, which is why I wanted to try his step class at 
<laughs> in Ohio. Dope, dope, she like, it was dope. nothing like my class at all. So it was <laughs> something like it. And it was like wild. It. You should see my, t- I have a video. You should see the footwork. It's wild. Okay. Okay, I was like. Send us some videos. Next, we got to see this. Next. <laughs> Could it keep up? Okay. But in the North, I don't know. Classes are not like, like down South. They're like in other places. Like mm-hmm. we don't have like a prominent like fitness type of like stage. Well, he worked out. His arms look good. Um, so I feel like my company is what brings in that type of like Southern style. Cause I'm originally from Tennessee. So I'm okay. from Memphis, Tennessee. Born in Massachusetts, but raised in Tennessee. So okay. like half and yeah, half. A little bit of both. We're half a Southern belle. Just half. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, so what's coming up is my new YouTube videos um, for Matt Pilates. So um, I do a Core with Confidence class, which is, like, we do different types of trap types of Matt Pilates. So, like, there's trap Pilates, there's pop Pilates, different types of vibes. Okay. But it basically it's all, like, interval trained body work, mm-hmm. all about sculpting and, like, chiseling and working your entire body because your core is more than just your abs, but mm. the abs got to be chiseled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so now I just um, put it on YouTube so that other people around the world could also do Matt Pilates, and I also do in-person classes. Mm. So I have um, my signature people who come in to do classes with me. Um, only have like <laughs> few, I like... Okay. I ain't doing too much, man. I'm just, um, just trying to make a difference in the people that I work with every <laughs> single day. Um, shout out East Cleveland, Ohio, man. Shaw High School, man. Yeah. You know, I love my city. I, I, I love it. No. Man. I ain't doing too much. No. I love I'm going to still be at Extreme Compound three, four days a week. Shout out Phil. Shout out Derek, man. And uh, we're just having a good time. Um, I don't too much go into everything that I'm doing. I'm just hoping that we can take this platform and and go somewhere and do some more different things and um you know some lovely things and shout out to her her business again because i've been to the classes and the stretching is crazy <laughs> and the yoga is crazy and uh it's dope all right well good luck with your career for sure and i do thank you both for coming on today thank and you for having of us. course of course and thank you everyone at home for tuning in we will catch you all next time for sure all right let's look at these comments these couples move fast as fuck. They spend the night at each other's houses within a week. Ain't no way. I don't remember anyone who comes back, but I remember this hat fisher clear as day. <laughs> That's clown activity quote by the great Brian. The first few seconds tell how things went with them. <laughs> okay. She's so freaking gorgeous. The natural beauty just hits differently. It does. He's very immature. Yes, he's attractive, but his demeanor is childish, abrasive, and disrespectful addition. He's not ready. Mm. This man really is that where my hug at, though, kind of guy. Definitely. He ghosted you when you were sick and got the physical affection touch. He was looking for a sis. Red flags. He's a man, baby, which I completely agree. Uh, Kiana, he be doing too much. Arlette, yes. (laughs) The fact that some of these people barely know each other but think that It's okay to travel to a different city and stay at other person's place. Baffles me. Um, Can we please bring Kiana back? I feel like she deserves a redo. This guy is a, is beyond a jerk, completely self-absorbed and narcissist and a narcissist. Kiana deserves better. She has her stuff together and deserves top tier King of a man. Uh, He took somebody else to Florida. (laughs) Uh, I can't tell if he's jealous, insecure, or arrogant. He has unprovoked tension. <clears throat> okay. This woman is naturally beautiful, educated, well-spoken, emotionally mature, Braylon, Braylon, come on, you fumble. She deserves much more. I agree on him fumbling. I can't even say she fumbled. I agree on him fumbling. She is a beautiful woman. She does have her own, her own back. She does work all day long, so she really going to be able to experience much, um, but she needs some help from a real nigga. And I think he needs to find better ways to deal with his emotions. And I just feel like he needs to date to get that hug out the way. Mm -hmm. He need to date to get that hug out the way. A lot of women are emotionally unavailable. I feel like, I feel like a lot of women are unemotionally Available or emotionally unavailable. I do. Um, I feel like if you really want a nigga, 
can be all over you. You really will. And if you really don't, shit. You just really don't. <clears throat> and I understand him being upset for spending his money, too. I do. So that's where I'm at with it, y'all. Um, that was a good episode, though. I was, I was actually waiting on that episode. I was. Uh, all right. We need to get Corey. Corey went live yesterday during her event. Carmen went live today. <clears throat> how y'all feel about um how y'all feel about big boogie and carmen him humping her all over the stage and shit how y'all how what y'all think about that Sorry, look. <clears throat> Good for her. Yeah, it ain't my business. Facts. Living her life. Do y'all think it's something she should take serious? Hell no. Okay, I was just making sure we was on the same page, y'all, because. Hopefully, she's enjoying that good old meat she's getting. And I hope that, um. She getting some money for it. <laughs> Hopefully she ain't giving out her money either. 